Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Now, in an effort to try and challenge the meaning of post, young artists have gathered their art pieces and will showcase them from the 7th to the 24th of July at Constitutional Hill Museum in Johannesburg. Art fanatics can expect to see the first of its kind exhibition that features work from South Africa's emerging generation under one roof. To tell us more about this, we're joined in studio by artist Ayanda Mabulu and with him is curator Asanda Badozi. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you Thanks. for having us. Let's talk about this theme, post. And I want to ask this question to both of you. What does that mean to you when you talk about this concept of post? Well, the post show, um, curated by myself and Matthew Nesbitt, mm -hmm. um, with the kind funding from the University of California, wanted to challenge the realities of what it means to be post-apartheid, post-racial, okay. post-colonialism, and what is it that these experiences and the dreams that we had in South Africa um, were actually, whether they were actually achieved or not, mm. or whether it's become a dream deferred, and if there can be another period of when we looking back at this period and realizing that the things that we wanted to achieve were not necessarily achieved, how can we go forward? Mm. So the show with the artists is looking at different facets of what it means to be living in the post life and what the realities of being post are. I can, before I come to you, Yanda, I can only imagine that it could be really an emotional subject matter, couldn't it? Because mm -hmm. people are coming from such diverse and different backgrounds, and now you're, now you're throwing a cat amongst the pigeons and say, wh where are you now? Yes, that, that's exactly what we're trying to ask in the, in the show, which is why we have a group of artists that are showing different facets of <coughs> excuse me, what it means to live in the post-life. Mm. So we have from Ayanda's work to Nelson's work to Ndabuko's work mm. and um, Neo Matloka's work in the group exhibition showing you different aspects of um, the post-life because it's not necessarily something that's linear. We all yeah. have different experiences. Sure. We all come from different walks. Mm. So each of the artists are talking to the different experiences that can be seen within that post-life. Mm. Ayanda, so you, you're given this idea, this theme by these uh, creative curators and they're saying, where are you now? Yeah. Post all of these things. And what, what starts working through you? Yeah, for me, I looked, at the, I looked at the theme and I started working on it. But most importantly, uh, with what's happening in the country, the turmoil, mm. you know, and, and seeing everything that's happening in the streets, and having to see the people, you know, having to be stuck in the same predicament as before, you know. For me, it was an easy thing to work on because things are happening in the street and then they're out there blatantly, you know. So the only thing that I had to do was to just go on my canvas and talk about them, you mm. know, without even thinking twice as into... Because you're already connected to it, you're sensitive. Yeah, I felt it the most, you know, I'm feeling it even now and the people are feeling it the, now, you understand. So the only thing that I had to do was to sort of like to put it on the canvas and to sort of like to talk about them, you know, and, and it was an easy thing to do. You know. So is that approach... I mean, you're talking about people in the streets. Is that yeah. approach social, political? Is it personal? It's, it's social, it's political, because if you look at what uh, was happening, you know, uh, uh, before 94, uh, you understand, the struggles that people went through, if you look at now uh, with the current government, people are still uh, stuck in the same thing, you understand? They're still fighting for the resources that they, they, they were fighting for even then. And, and, and most of all, things are worse right now because uh, we look at the ruling party, we look at the things that are happening, you find out that um, now we don't have anywhere to, to go to, we don't have anyone to run to because the one who's digging the dagger in our hearts is the people of our own, if you're looking at, mm. if we're talking about the ruling party. For sure. Yeah. So, you then approach... Ayanda Mabulu mm -hmm. as one of the artists yes. because he has a very strong view. Yes. Talk to me about some of the other artists that you identify that could add a voice to it. So um, we also approached Nelson Makama and Nelson joined the project because with him we were looking at Nelson's subject matter deals with children and compared with contrasting to Ayanda's work which deals with a lot of the things that adults are going through. And his past stuff too. Uh, yes, definitely. Yeah. And so when looking throughout the show and when you attend it, it becomes that thing where you're looking at the future. We wanted, we asked him the question of, so since your subject matter after is dealing with everyone, everything that's involved here the most, mm. what is it the future for them? 
what mm. how is it that post the show they'll be able to experience going forward what is it that they can be learning are they actually happy when you're looking at the children so it was also very interesting to add his voice to the show and also there were other artists that were looking at identity um looking at the difference between culture yeah. and corporate life and whether that also is telling the narrative of a south african um who's living in the post life that sure. is constantly dealing with dualities Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Fascinating conversation. That's uh, curator Asanda Madozi and uh, artist Ayanda Mabulu. And they were talking to us about the post, its exhibition that is set to kick off on Thursday and will run until the 24th of July at Constitutional Hill in Johannesburg. A definite must see. Go and check it out. We're taking an ad break. Don't go anywhere.